Hello Ryan, welcome to Sudokanar. We are here to solve this odd labyrinth Sudoku which was featured in the latest WPF Sudoku Grand Prix and it's a very uncommon variant in which you must go from this cell to this cell by such a path like this so some, some kind of snake and this path must include only odd digits. So something like this, for example. And that's it. And during the contest, I attempted this puzzle, and I must say I failed miserably, because uh, at some point I was stuck and I just gave up. When I started again on the puzzle after the contest, I found what I had missed, and, well, I was a bit sad. But it, it was an okay round for me anyway, so I won't complain. So, uh, first I do some Sudoku. With those threes, I can put a three here. So this is four, six, nine, but there's a four and a six here, so that's a nine. Four, six here. I must have one, two, and seven on this row, so that's a one. This is two or seven. This is also two or seven. This six here must be somewhere there. And here we're left, we are left with one, eight, and nine, and this is not one. Here we need a one and a seven, but there's a one here, so seven here and one there. And, um, well, I think perhaps this is eight or nine. I, I don't think there's much else to do. Well, let's do some coloring. With those puzzles where parity plays a role, it may be useful to color the cells. Well, when you solve on paper, you must find something else. You can write a small letter like O for odd, E for even in the corner of the cell. But here, for this video, I, use, I will use coloring, and as usual, I will use green for even digits and orange for odd digits. I think this is the, the same convention as uh, Simon Anthony for cracking the cryptic. I'm not sure, but I think this is what he likes to use. All right, so some more coloring. And something else that could be interesting is to use some diagonal line like this to see that here we have a kind of wall, which means that our path won't go this way. It can't move this way. We will have to use an, another way. And you can see that here is a place where we can't go because there are only five odd digits in a column and actually we can see that there is a two here so this is not uh, a, a, the way the path can go so we have some kind of wall here so we can't go this way we can't go this way so the general way must be through this channel here so we must absolutely go this way with the, the odd path. So that we can see that this must be an odd digit. And now we have four odd digits, and actually this is a three. And we are left, oops, sorry about that, we are left with even digits here. And that's interesting because here we have four even digits on this column, and there are exactly four odd digits on the column. So those are odd digits. And now we must come to this place. Well, there must be something like that, or perhaps something like that, or like that. Well, I'm not sure there is much more to do, except that here we see that those digits are not 2, 4, 6, or 8, so they must be odd. Um, well, is there anything else to see? Um, 
yes, something else to see is that here, this wall oops, is continuing like this. You see that this is a huge wall, so that our path must go like this. It must come around this wall like this, and then we must find a way to join this. And to join this, we only have two more odd digits, so they must be either like this or like that. An interesting point is that we can't do something like this because it would make six odd digits on a row where there are only five, and there's one odd digit here. So we have to think carefully. But anyway, let's move back to coloring. This is odd, this is odd, this is odd. And we have five odd digits on this column. So the rest are even digits. So now we must continue uh, through this cell. Now this is odd. We already have four even digits here. Well, by two, this is a two, this is a six, that's a seven. And this six here goes there. Here we have four and eight. This can only be eight, and this is four. And eight is not here, so by Sudoku, eight goes there. So let's move back to coloring. This is even, those are odd. And our path goes like this. But as I mentioned earlier, to join this, the path must go either like this or like that. And here it doesn't work, that makes six odd digits, so the only way is by the bottom, through the bottom. And here we have five odd digits, so those are even. So those are odd, those are even, those are even as well. So that we, we, we must go we must join this cell through this cell here. And now this row still needs two more odd digits. And now the path is clear, though no eyes can see. No. Oh, but that's, I don't think that's the correct lyrics. So we can finish with the coloring. This is even, this is odd, this is even. And for the rest here... Oh yes, the, the path is not yet full. We must still find how this joins that. But first let's do some Sudoku. Oh, perhaps just by Sudoku we see that this is not an 8 anymore. Oops. So that this is an odd digit and we see that the path can go through this. And actually we have three even digits here, so this is even, and the path must go through this cell, and here, one, two, three, four, five, five odd digits here, so this is even, and this is the way. As they would say in the Mandalorian. All right. So, 8, 2, 4. So, this is 8, this is 6, now this is 4, this is 6. Those are two. This is not an 8, this is a 4. Well, no, those are 4, those are a 4 8 pair. Sorry about that. This is a 2-8 pair, but now there's a 2 here, so this is 8, this is 2, this is 4, this is 8. This can only be a 4. Here we must have 6 and 8. Oh, and by the way, this is not an 8. 6 here. This is not a 6, so that's a 6. On this row, that's 8, that's 2. So this is, this is 8, 2, and 4, but there's a 2 here and the 4 here. So that's it for the even digits. Let's move on to odd digits now. Those are 1 and 5. I will do some pencil marking here, I'm afraid. And this column still needs 5 and 9. Right. 
This kind of needs a lot of odd digits. Here we need five and nine as well for this box, and this is now seven to complete the column. On this row we need one and five, but there's a one here. So five here, one there. This column needs three, seven, and nine, but we can see with those sevens that seven can only be here. Now this is not seven. This is not seven because of that, so we get the seven in here. So we still need three and nine into those cells. This can only be a five, so that's now that's one, and that's three, and that's nine, and that's five, and that's nine. Here we need five and seven. Here we need one and three. <clears throat> this is a five by the row. Those are seven and nine. Here I need one, three, and nine. <clears throat> so one, three, and nine. So five in the column can only be here. That's seven, that's nine, that's seven. And this can only be a three. So that's the three, one, and three, and one, and nine. <clears throat> and that's five, that's one. That's five, and that's nine. All right, so this is really, really well constructed. And once you see, well, the, the essential point, in my opinion, is to see that this is, um, it was not possible to go through this channel to, to complete the path. And this is what I failed to see during the contest, which is sad, but well, this is how it goes when you try to be competitive. You just have to find a better version of yourself. All right, thanks for watching this video and see you soon on Sudo Canard.